Welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming. I really do appreciate it. And thank you for watching my videos and commenting on them. I appreciate that a great deal. I really do. This is my third requested reaction today, and this one is Angelina Jordan singing I'll Be There. And this is the same concert that we saw yesterday where she sang Fade. And at the time she sang this, she was 11 years old. And in the video, I said she was 12. I, I actually said at the beginning she's 11, and then for some reason I went to 12. I think I was thinking of Allie Sherlock. I don't know where my mind was going. But anyway, she's 11, which means she was the equivalent of the sixth grade in the United States. And she's singing professionally in South Korea. Think about that for a minute. While you're thinking about that, I want to remind you that I put the artist links in the description of my videos so you can support them. And I put the link to the request form so that you can request a song if you want one. I do not take requests from the comments. So fill out the form. If you need help, just let me know and I'll, I'll respond to you. I read all my comments and I respond when it's appropriate. So this is Angelina Jordan in South Korea at the age of 11. <laughs> Mind-boggling. Singing, I'll be there.
I just can't get over her. I can't not get over her. Oh. 11 years old. With the stage presence of a pro. She's up there just so relaxed. And singing in the lower range, which a lot of ladies can't do. And she does it beautifully. And she she changed the song. She phrased it the way that she wanted to and sang it, her version of it, at 11. A child, a little child. It's just astounding. It really is astounding. I mean, I, I don't know any other way to put it. It's, it's unprecedented. How's that? Unprecedented that a child that young can be that professional and that good. That's a great song. And she made it even greater. Uh, you know, I keep forgetting to show you my shirts. And so let me do that now while I'm thinking of it. All right. There you go. I have a daughter who is an, uh, an, she's a CPA, she's an accountant. And she worked for American Airlines for many years and traveled all over the world. Europe, Asia, South America, she went everywhere. <laughs> she even had uh, men from other continents chasing her, <laughs> which she wasn't too happy about because she didn't want to be chased. But anyway, uh, she bought me shirts when she would go to places like San Francisco or New Orleans or London. Uh, <laughs> one weekend, she called up our younger daughter and said, Hey, you want to spend the weekend with me in London? And of course... When you work for American Airlines, you don't pay for the flight. You just, the only thing you have to pay is what they call, uh, I, I think they call them landing fees. I'm not sure. It's an airport fee that, you know, it's 20 or 30 bucks. So our younger daughter hopped on a plane to London and they spent the weekend in London. <laughs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. I don't know how I got off on that, but I did. Uh, oh, the shirt. So that's where this shirt comes from. She she got it for me. She's gotten me a number of shirts because she knows I like to wear t-shirts. And this is one of them. So anyway, and yeah, I've been to San Francisco. I was there when I was in the Navy. I was stationed there for a year. Uh but I didn't buy a shirt while I was there. <laughs> oh, I'm getting way off track. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I, I just, I love the way that she waves to the crowd with that little kind of loose wave that she does. And she just, she's just so endearing and she's so sweet. And yet so talented. So incredibly talented. She is a sweetheart. And I pray that God keeps her safe. Just the same way that he does Amira. That he puts a hedge of protection around her. And protects her. And keeps her safe from the evil one. And from all the predatory practices of the, uh, the recording industry. And that she can just be who she is and bless people with her voice. Because that's what she wants to do. And that's what she's called to do. This is the Vietnam Era Vet out.